Grand Slam or uh, either or the uh, assault title. So he can't slam and shoot. He can't he can't slam and reload. He has to choose when he does both of those actions. Yeah, these new squadron pilots are borderline expendable. Mm-hmm. Like you want you want to bait, not bait, but you're you're okay with one dying if the other two gets to get their missiles off. Um, because you're losing a 22 point ship and you're you're absolutely soul crushing someone and then don't forget you you still have to quick draw the, the the reason why quick draw is so popular is because of his ability to hunt down nim and miranda and i don't mean that like oh single-handedly they're going to obliterate them or anything like that but it's just his ability to constantly keep them in, in arc right i'm sure the ps11 doesn't hurt that's what i mean yeah the ps11 and the fire control system right so he can be barrel rolling to and then, like he, he's just constantly keeping pressure on you, so it makes it it makes it hard. Like if you're a Miranda player flying against a quick draw, mm-hmm. it's not a good feeling. You don't want to shoot him either, right? Mm-hmm. If you shoot him at range two or something like that, he's just you just can strip all your shields. Uh, G Fox fifty nine kiting is when you are kind of you have the opponent behind you, and you are kind of running and dictating the distance that they have with you so ideally you want to be able to with a tlt for example right you would want to be able to be at a distance that allows you to tlt one ship and then not have to take any uh, return fire from more than that one ship because in a 1v1 engagement um he can uh he can win but in a head-on joust i i think i'm pretty sure ryan has the advantage even with the bombs in play generally it's also something that a turret ship loves to do it yes. loves to lead a ship it loves to tr- it loves to have a ship trailing behind it it likes to be in front of a ship because they can always shoot it forces the impotence on you to position to maintain arc you can go left you can go right you can move you draw them and you drag them through obstacles and rocks while continually always being able to shoot at them yeah correct so here we see oh. Ryan. I mean, Devin's on the field. He's going to try to get some insider information. But we are. This is now our third time seeing Ryan on stream. Um, this is the third time seeing Ryan set up his uh, squadron this way. Uh, it's worked for him quite beautifully so far. He loves to cast a really wide net with his uh, star wings, the uh, the gunboats. With the long range scanner, he can he can paint a target and he can almost guarantee to ensure to hit to hit them at, on his level because he's going to come in there with focus target lock when he fires, and um, he spreads them out. And it'll be interesting to see where he puts his quick draw though. Yeah, well, he's probably just gonna use it to apply pressure, cause I, on Ryan, and from Ryan's perspective, I think he's okay with trading quick draw for Nim, for example, just to get those proton bombs off the board. So you feel like then? No, nah, actually, a really bold question. Do you feel like Miranda versus three of the news is winnable for Miranda still? It'll be tough. Okay, so she's no. got to get one of the news off before she loses Nim. You think? Is that what Justin's hoping to do? I think so. Ryan has just come off, right, a match, this exact match. He just beat Kelvin flying Nim Miranda with, although I believe Mar- uh, Kelvin had TLT on both. Um, and it was an extremely close game that Kelvin almost won. It was down to, you know, a one hull new running and uh, not able, Kelvin wasn't able to get it down. So It went to time? Uh, I believe so. Oh, or, that sucks. Uh, Kel- we'll have to get Kelvin's, uh, no, Kelvin's take on it. No, the new must have killed him. The new, yeah, yeah the new came in and uh, just, uh, I think he got a harpoon off and he couldn't kill the one hole new before it shot. So It is not Ryan Farmer. A question in chat, is it Farmer? No, this is Ryan Ferguson from Southern Ontario. I believe he's from Kitchener-Waterloo. Correct. You okay, Dubs, represent. And uh, we've got... He's got uh, tokens from a face-to-face uh, store champs from a few years ago. So, uh, what's that? He's been must be playing for a while. Ryan. Yeah. So, did you have a chance to chat with the guys of what their their strategy is going to be in this matchup? No, we've seen both these guys on stream a few times. Uh, I think uh, we've got a good handle on what they're doing and how they're doing it. Uh, both of them want uh, relatively an an open map and uh i think we're gonna jump right in let them get at it not you know interrupt their thought processes before the game starts and just let them get on with the final get out of here early and especially we can talk to them after the fact and hear what they're thinking definitely definitely we're gonna have them on and, and chatting about uh 
about the game after it's over. The rock placement is pretty interesting here. I think Justin has an opportunity to throw a bomb into like that middle pocket, for example. Just let it sit there and just hold it. Just let it sit there. I, if I were him, I would, I would consider doing that. You're taking right there in that spot. Right in the middle. It's interesting. Every game on stream we've seen Ryan, he's come out of the gate hot with all of his gunboats. Yeah. So. No, I, I also think, sorry for cutting you off. I also love. Hey, salt leader, how's it going? I love Ryan's placement of his gunboats. He's got. He's got a lane for each one of his gunboats to bank through each one of those giant asteroids. Oh, he does the hard three, okay. Uh, but that's a really interesting put setup for him, too. So, I think Ryan's placement of quick draw in the... What the... What are those? Those are shield These tokens. are his uh, long-range scanners, right? Those tokens are the uh, custom tokens. Oh, those are custom event. focus tokens from FFG. Well, not from FFG, from face-to-face uh, -face for, uh, for getting to the finals, I suppose. Where's mine? Uh, well, you didn't get to the finals, Alan. Where's I've been, mine? I've been to PTL finals. Does that count? <laughs> uh, you didn't get to the PTL Open finals. I can't complain. Rochester gave me like four hundred dollars in credit. I mean, it's better than face-to-face -face, uh, focus tokens. That's fair. I can't complain. Okay. Anyway, so going back to this matchup, I think Quick Draw is just going to hunt down Miranda because Ryan, I'm assuming, has identified that if he kills Miranda, Nim is going to have trouble dealing with all this firepower. So you're thinking he's going to throw all of his boats at Nim just to harpoon him into oblivion and try no, just no, to no. solo with Quickdraw or no? No, well, I think Quick I think Quickdraw is gunning after Miranda. Yeah. The problem here is that he's going to get harpoon, and if it's a 5 die harpoon, his shields can just be gone. Mm -hmm. That could be a really, really, you know, short, short-lived short Quickdraw. Mm -hmm. So we still got to play his cards a bit right, but I think if he goes aggressively... Gets into range one, has that number four gunboat kind of floating to um, to gunner to have an arc on her exit. That will put a lot of pressure. I like how aggressive Justin's coming out here too now because the uh, gunboats they can't fire and slam because they don't have the titles. They're gonna take a bit of time to get into range with him. Whereas depending on where Ryan ends up with the other gunboat, uh, Justin can three bank and throw a bomb forward into that open spot and and hit that gunboat and then he can bring bring the bear both his Miranda and them on that one gunboat and take it off the turn in the, in the next engagement. So yeah. So you can see he's engine upgrading to get a little bit forward there too, so giving himself maybe that extra range in case he wants the two bank and trajectory simulator forward or hard to or, or even just go straight up and then come in from behind. Maybe he read this. Maybe that's exactly why he boosts. Maybe Justin figured that the quick draw placement was potentially a fake out. Well, I think his play here is a chuck a five, five bomb. Mm-hmm into that pocket and who does Ryan have blocked oh it's on Nim yeah right because it's the closest ship that makes sense but this will be interesting I don't think if he trades quick draw for Nim and only Nim like only quick draw for Nim and not losing his three news it's still rough for Miranda yeah I, I, I would if I were Ryan, I would be trading Quick Draw for Miranda, a hundred percent. And so now we have Kelvin just came in and sat down. Sorry to throw you right into the fire, but you oh, just came out of this match. Yeah, yeah, right. Literally so, almost identical. Right. So how did Ryan is Ryan's attack? Is it similar to how he approached your Nim Miranda? Now, now Justin's got Auto Blaster engine on his. I believe you have TLT on yours. That's right. So how? How do you think Ryan is approaching this game? Did he learn anything from your game? Is he doing anything similar? Are you seeing some of the same things? So the first strategy he uses is that he fans out all his gun builds. So a lot of people I played with uh, three news and a quick draw um, usually clump them together, and then it's hard. It's easier to avoid that big clump of gun builds. He fans them out, so that it's hard to escape them. Um, so my strategy in that game, in our game, was to kind of kite them along and then try and alpha down one gun belt, which I almost did successfully. I got the one gun was down to one. Here, it looks like he's going to try the same strategy. He he is going to go for Nim first. He did it in our game, same thing. He's going to go for Nim first. Do you it's think it's the right call? I think it's the right call because Nim has potential to do a lot of damage. And Nim also dies really quickly because from one harpoon, you're al almost half-healthing it. True. And then a second harpoon will almost guarantee you kill it. Here, um, 
This one does have engine though. Right. Uh, this one does have engine, but Nim is stuck now. Nim is gonna go forward. He can, or he's gonna go to the right. I don't think he's gonna turn to his left because that's also a death sentence for him. I think I think he might go to the left. And it, it seems uh, really. If he goes straight, he's dead. It see Ryan seems really fine with chasing a really wide net, threatening three harpoons, but being okay if he only gets two on target. Yeah, Ryan is a really right? really patient player. He uh, he doesn't go for the, die for the the the, um, the quick kills. He sets it up so that if he doesn't get a shot this round, he will definitely get a shot next round. And then you can see it here. Um, he's casting that net, tightening a little bit. Oh, I expected him to turn in there. That's really right, because he knows he knows that Nim is going to just do a four forward and a boost. You think so? Um, I thought or, it was, I thought or, he was going to bomb forward. I thought he was going to bomb forward and turn left. In not a case though. What what Ryan's done? He's cast that net wider now. He's just even if Nim turns the other way, he has an opportunity to actually turn back in next turn. I don't think he slammed here. Um, I think he should, but I don't know if he did. Uh, I think he's trying to decide that right. Like he's I think he he's, hasn't taken an action yet. I think he's he should already be safe from. The five forward bomb range. Now, Quick Draw's pointed down board, so she'll be able to come in, and maybe she's going to cover that arc that we expected that gumbo to. Right. Um. So. Oh, there's the there, slam. There's the slam right there's there. The slam. Yeah. I think it's going to cast that net wide. The only problem is Miranda's going to get a harpoon shot on that gumbo, and it's not can't do anything. Um. Yeah. Well, it's a point to point out that Miranda used long range scanners to get her target lock on uh, Quick Draw, so she'd have Ooh. to stay within range three. Oh, okay. He's going for Quick Draw. I left Quick Draw for last in our game, and uh, I didn't think it was a mistake because I took up two of his gunboats, and I only traded uh, shields and one damage on Nim, but then I couldn't finish off his last gunboats, which harpooned Nim and killed him. And then if I had killed that last gunboat, it would have been Nim Miranda with four hull on Nim and then full Miranda against Quick Draw, and I think that's a pretty easy oh, match to win. There we go. We definitely see trajectory. Nim bombing here. forward, absolutely. Trajectory simulator to catch Quick Draw out? That is going to hurt. I don't even know if... But he's taking two harpoons. He, the engine upgrade might let him slip. It might, but man... Bank boost to the right would let him get out of it. Well, he picked up the five templates, so he's doing it, I think. He's thinking about it for sure. This quick draw, he's just going to get out of it. The protons are so important. But he's Rebel Nim. He, if it doesn't hit this turn, he can hold it. Yeah. He can wait. No, I get that. But do you really want to bomb quick draw? Yeah, absolutely. It's, Quick it's an option it. to bomb him and not take the shield, right? That's, and he can choose he can to not choose. Sabine. And he j Quick Draw just takes the crit under the shield. I mean, the bigger question is, is Quick Draw going to take two harpoons and the bomb and die? Like, that's the bigger question here. Well, Quick Draw's not going to take any harpoons because they're all target locked on Nim. No. Oh, no, they're on, they're on oh, uh, Quick Draw. Oh, yeah, they're oh, on Quick God. Draw. Yeah. No, the gunboats are going to shoot Quick Draw. What are you talking about, Kelvin? I don't think he has range for target lock. Yeah, he did the guidance ships, right? He, oh, he has long range scanner. He might. He no, might. Nim has an uh, engine. Engine, so he has no long range scanner. That's hard to say. I think he's in range for a target lock for sure. Um, but I don't know if he's gonna take it. I I think he's considering the boost more than anything. He's in a tough position. I I don't. Yeah, I'm surprised he did the straight. The boost is bad too, because now he's gonna predicted. give. You uh, said he was gonna do a four forward. No, 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 no. I, I thought he was gonna throw the bomb. Oh, okay. And that then the and then go up. Go up the corner because what what are what are two and three gunboats going to do other than turn up right? Well, did he get out of? I don't think he got out of three's arc, but he might have got out of range of gunboat number two. I hope so, but he now has to deal with a quick draw. Is he not dangerously close to bombing himself there? <coughs> he should be fine. Right move. Oh, that's in range. He can't barrel roll to get out. Maybe backwards to the to the ship left to Ooh. our right. Oh, man, this is tough for Justin. I think Justin might be going for the quick draw, and new kill, and then hope to. Yeah, Ryan's gonna try to barrel roll back game. just where you said, Devin, which is actually a really interesting call if it fits. <coughs> Won't fit. Because then he can no. Oof, that would have no. been interesting if he could have fit there. No. What? Oh. Yeah. yeah. He's just readjusting. Yeah. I think you just take focus and you're happy with this. Does Miranda have range on uh, Quick Draw though? Because Quick Draw could die very quickly here. I don't I think. Don't I don't think, think she so. has range. It's close. I don't think the the Gumbo Number Two have range on Nim either. So it's only one harpoon. If it's a blinded, this is a game changer. If it's not, I think the favor is heavily in Ryan's corner. So He's the question, the question also blinded. is, would Nim take a damage here? 
Yeah, they're checking that right now. Close. Nope. No. It doesn't yeah. look like it. They both are. They both are? Oh, they both are? Wow. Yeah, so I thought when he boosted, it looks very close. Yeah, so for my calculations, my math, my math is major explosion, explosion on major him. explosion. Major oh, explosion triggers! Oh, both major explosion. So that second damage now goes underneath the shield, correct? Yes. Or, or onto the shield. It suffer a critical damage. No, that would be on shields. Okay. Oh, so this triggers quick draw <laughs> if, it, if it goes through. That's correct. Yeah. And if he doesn't spin. If it goes through, he might as well spin. Well, he has to spin, right? No, he doesn't. Have Did to. they each get major explosion? I think he actually does have to spin. Both on it was a crit, I think. It's right? a crit, right. so it does so not trigger major explosion. I think he has to uh, um, trigger Sabine, actually. Someone in, someone in the comments just say it's Sabine's not a May. No, it's, it's not. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it, oh it's really? Not. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Whew. If it's a must, then we should flag that for them, then. Here goes the double tap. And this is going to be a really crippled Nim. So, funny anecdote from last game. Uh, Range 2? I did a damage onto this quick draw from a bomb, and he rolled his shot, and then forgot to roll his main shot. I gave him ample opportunity. I was like, hey, when's your shot? When's your shot? He just didn't shoot. So, only shot once, and I could have lost much quicker. Damn. Guts FCS. Did you only deal one damage? No, uh, quick draw would have lost the shield, Travis. Uh, well, was it one or two? He we lost a hull and he lost a shield. He rolls it again. I think you. I would spend that. Just getting him off the board. I, all that does is strip his shields. Maybe get a damage in. Might be worth it though, I think. Yeah, but Nim Nim is just throwing three natural. It's hard to say. Quick draw being at two shields is nice. Yeah, maybe don't spend it. I would just target lock. Nim has harpoons. He didn't target lock quick draw? No, he boosted. Ooh. Target lock, uh, target target lock move. Yeah, target lock. That's the right move. And there it is. It doesn't matter. And yeah. <clears throat> I think I think somebody should just cut off Ryan's hands because they're magic. Two more. Two more. That's shields. That's gonna be a dead nim in a second if yep. the harpoons hit. Agreed. Yeah. He's shooting the gunboat. What is he checking for? He's just I... checking if he had a, a oh. range two unobstructed, but he does not. Yeah. Oh. Just shoot. QD, right? Ability's already propped this round. You're in no danger of a There's no better time. Take as many shields off as you can right now. I mean, keep your eye on the prize. Take down quick draw. She's taking two damage. Hope for a hit crit. And so, guys, let me ask you this. What do you think needs more help right now? Alpha Strike or Bombs? I think Alpha Strike with Bombs. They can yeah. throw them in their faces. Oh, wait, we have that already. Oh, that's a problem. Yeah, I heard they're replacing guidance ships with just like guidance. You should just be able to remove a ship from the game when they, when, if they hit the bomb. The rumor is they're going to errata yeah. guidance ships to be you can turn they... all of your blanks into hits. <laughs> oh, I thought you were being serious for a second. I I would not, I would not be upset with an errata to guidance. I think guidance. Pre... So it does look like Justin's decided to shoot at the gunboat. What? Mm, I I don't see four dice. I see four dice. That is exactly the wrong call. Range three but, unaffected. Hey, you so. know. I'm not matter. in the finals game, so would, what do I know? Wouldn't matter. Wouldn't matter. I mean, it was unmodded either way. Did he think he was avoiding another click draw he shot? Might have, he might have forgotten. Did he forget? Or I mean, no, that's I, a big thing, forget. Maybe he's just trying to he keep might have, all of his he shots. He could have get rid of the harpoon missile before it could fire next turn. Yeah, if he can get four shots on that gunboat before that gunboat shoots, he might be able to get it off the board, right? Look, they're on the final table. I'm not, but man, that is exactly the wrong call. <laughs> yeah, shut up, scrub. <laughs> <laughs> Quick draw should have been taking a ton of damage there. Quick draw should have been no, but stripped. on that roll, you know what? Yeah, you don't know though, right? If you mm. roll three hits, quick draw doesn't roll any bait. He doesn't have a focus. Does he, he might be he trying to keep focus. his target yeah. priority, keep all the keep uh, Nim and Miranda shooting at the same target. I think I think he realized that three die natural versus three die with focus is a wash. Yeah. So he's just cutting those losses there. That's a good point. But, good point. Ryan does have lightweight points. Three on four. I mean, you got to take a, yeah, you yeah. got to take a, opportunities. So right, I think there's a judge call here for arc. Also, if you get lucky enough to get two hits through and you remove quick draws ability, that's huge. Oh, that's in. <sighs> that's definitely. Is it in. though? Looks oh, in to me. Man. That's a dead Captain Nim. If it's in, he might have to come around to the other side. This is also the first game we've really seen from Justin where he's not led with Miranda. Where he's led with Nim instead. I'm not sure how he approached your game, Kelvin. Well, that might be out of arc. Uh, I didn't play. I didn't play Justin. Oh. Is that out? Beautiful engine upgrade. Dodge both arcs. Nim lives to see another day. That's huge. See oh. a thumbs up there from Justin. I think we see a Talon roll right and a bomb forward next round. 
ship we'll right. See. I I th- I think he I, I think he should have kept a proton in that pocket or somewhere. He still have one proton left. No, but like I mean, he, uh, it's something to hold to kind of shut down the middle or something. Because well, I no. thought that's what he was doing with the rock. So the move movement. here to do, and I'm I'm sure Ryan has seen this from our game, was to t- is to three talon roll and then immediately throw a proton forward. He'll catch two as gunboats. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. The 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 range is huge. The range for yeah. for the bombs it's actually three, and then the the bomb ahead. So it's, it's if you're in arc and you're in range, you're almost guaranteed to get hit by those bombs. You don't think he's running with them? Ah, uh, man. At this point, you gotta burn down the gunboats. You gotta burn down something, right? Because he's really behind here. Yeah. By I the just... time I got to the stage, I've taken out two gunboats in the last game where I had four hull on, on them. He's really behind. I just think that I I agree. He's really behind. I just think the Talon and toss the bomb and then die. Because it's not even like he has mods to harpoon. Yeah, right? this is gonna be a rough game for Justin. Yeah. Cause look, that that other gunboat is gonna turn around, and gonna har- He's he's gonna harpoon somebody. The other two gunboats can take its time. And you can if you're if you're trying to hedge your bets, you can start putting target lots on Miranda to get to put pressure on her, considering she's coming in as well. Right. So if he really wanted to, he could gunboat two could just go like a, a casual one forward and and long range scan and Miranda. Gunboat three could do a hard two to the right or a hard three to the right to keep the pressure on him with his harpoon. And gunboat four can do the exact same thing but left and, and yeah. move that lock to Miranda as well as you were saying to start spreading out that danger and that threat range. And he still has quick draw who can just go two forward has a front arc and a rear arc and its ability. That's who what does, I do. Who does Miranda have locked? Miranda has quick draw locked. locked. I mean, quick draw. I, I I I can't see from this angle, but a three sloop here looks really good for quick draw. Sloop if he if he doesn't right? hit that rock, yeah. To right. Uh, to his right, yeah. Okay. Not towards uh, not towards the other gunboats, but towards that rock. Mm-hmm. It's hard to see w- whether or not that angle will fit, but if it does, that's money because he avoids a bomb, gets a shot in him, and Miranda's too close to TLT him potentially. Hmm. Miranda might just one bank. But then I, I I get what you're saying though. Yeah. If he doesn't one bank, then he exposes himself to four. It's rough, man. Losing losing all those shields and, and a hull this early is never good. Like you need to trade something for it, and he's traded for one and one on quick draw. Quick draw's gonna trigger again this turn, most likely. So you can see each player taking their time this turn to consider their moves. This is a quite a key and pivotal turn. This turn coming up, so they're gonna definitely think it through. The same thing we're talking it through. You know what's worth as many points or cost as many points as a new squadron with uh, unlimited harpoons? What? A rookie squadron pilot. X-wing. No, the twenty-two. So you can get a B-wing. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking with the I'm thinking with the astromech. With the astromech, yeah, 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 that seems fair. That seems exactly fair. Yeah. It's oh, got rookie, more hit points. Rook, it's got yeah. It's rookie, got harpoons. R- rookie with the uh, yeah. with ta- with Flysis Astro. Guys, there's no power creep in this game. Yeah. What are we talking about? <laughs> All right, so we've talked. So we've yeah. We're, so what, are you, what is everyone feeling then? Is the is the optimal situation? Not even optimal. What are the potential options here? I mean, the thing about these gunboats is they've got everywhere to go. But I feel like there's no reason for them not to turn in and, and spread some arcs around and move some target locks he, around. He, he's gonna turn in gunboats. I don't, I don't but think he cares about the protons. No, he didn't care about. I mean, I protoned three of his gunboats last game, no. and he just he let me do it. He was yeah. he's so confident he just let me do it. He doesn't but care. That's I mean, was, two that's, direct yeah. hits kills them. Because that's what I was telling you before the yeah. thing. I was like, yeah, proton like. It, if it's not blinded, they don't care. Yes. Yeah. Two directs hit, kill they one will of them, trade. They But have, they are only 22 points. They have seven hull. Yeah. It's like, go ahead, direct damage me. Go ahead and rage your explosion, direct damage me. Yeah. I, or direct hit me. It doesn't matter. Yeah. I mean, all those news still has a missile, like the commenter said. Uh, it's... <laughs> it's I, I can't see how Justin's going to pull this one out. Like it's Unless he, he gets blinded on both the gunboats and then whiffs on quick draw. Man, that, that Nim is dying this turn. That's, yeah, I, I I think he needs to. I think he needs to run with Nim. I think he needs. Where to would buy you run? Him. There's yeah, nowhere where, to run. Like it, you can too even, hard in even if, even if it's rock. a five straight engine left, right? Does five like, straight not go over that rock. I don't think it does. It's tough to tell with the angle, but based on the nubs, it I think is it tough, might. Yeah. Or like, or like it's a dangerous. Close. Five, five straight yeah. is also red, so he can't. Okay, maybe so not five, but like, let's say four and then barrel roll, like maybe get four down something right but keep 
keep Nim alive. Like, if he just Talon rolls, throw that Proton Bomb, yeah, that's great. But then Nim's dead, and I'm pretty sure the game's over. Look, I, I just think it was a mistake to go down standard with Nim anyways. I huh. That's why I that's why I played that's why I played with two TLTs. It gives you more options to kite people if you need to. It gives you more options to run away so that you can still do damage. Playing with Auto Blast Turret is great if you're fighting something that doesn't have as heavy up as this. Yeah, that's right. Number four took damage from TLT. Yep. Thanks for staying on top of us. Uh, we appreciate all the help. They've been, they've been helping us all, all stream. Like it will matter. So we have a three hard from the new. Which I was happy to see that. Focus, for sure. Absolutely. Not a, I mean, not one, a one bank. Keeps doing the oh, he's doing three forward. I thought he rolled the evade for the damage. Uh, we can maybe uh, check the board state. Yeah, I'll go run and check Thank you, sir. Interesting. So this is such a wide net. There's nowhere really he can go. Is he, he moving lock or is he focusing? If he runs now, okay. he can't run for both turns. Again, you were saying Ryan's very patient. There's no need for him to move locks yet. He wants to make sure Nim's gone. Even if Miranda comes in and pulls lock on one of his news with the with the with the uh, missile, he doesn't care. He wants to make sure Nim goes down. He'll still have at least two boats left. That, He's waiting. Yeah. I've never seen like such a dead Nim in my life. Like, there's no way you can go. There's literally no way you can go. Ryan's done this perfectly. Yeah. <laughs> Good looking out. Zero most. 55, 55, 55, 55, 55. We did get some damage from the TLTs. So Miranda does a one straight. I mean, does it's, she have it's the one great, slam for, now? It's great for she? this turn, but... Uh, get out of here, crates. There's that anomalous bombless drop. I'm not really sure why he's dropping that there. But why wouldn't you? It's free. I, I guess he can hold every once. I mean, it, it costs him nothing to drop it. I like Drops it. Drops that ion bomb. Interesting. It, yeah. I mean, it's not a bad call if he's gonna run. And we also have the best commentators. Do? Thank. We also have the best uh, people in the comments as well. Thanks, guys. Too hard. I mean, that's this, quite a run. That just guarantees you to, to die. Like, there's, it's, you're not getting anything. No. Done here. Well, I don't know. Maybe he's hoping for the one forward block and then maybe an auto blaster. It doesn't matter if he blocks quick draw. He he's to, gonna eat two harpoons. Just the engine. Mm -hmm. He has engine. I mean, Quick Draw, Draw could also be in a bit of trouble here because of the auto blasted turrets and the uh, and the harpoon from Miranda. So we could see Quick Draw dying this turn. But even then, though, three news on Miranda is not a pretty sight. You guys seeing this? Yeah. That's why I commented on that. We have the best common oh. comment people in the chat as well. <laughs> That's true. They've been awesome with us all stream. We love you guys. You just, you just arbitrarily... And and indirectly co commented or, or complimented the crates just so you know. So Everybody you know. but them. <laughs> All right, no, nah, we love them still zero? too. We love them still too. I don't too. know who zero is. They're zero. awesome. They're Do awesome. Do we know you? So I think Nim actually arc dodged one of the, the harpoons this round. That's actually, that's actually no not a terrible <laughs> call. So he's just gonna eat one poon. Uh, just one, you know, it's no big deal. Oh, interesting. Does so he bump? He does bump. Do you, no think, bumps. Do you think Justin was in Ryan's mind that turn? It could be. It's not the. And, move in the world. and now one of the boats is going to hit an ion, and he's going to be able to get out if he survives his turn. Uh, I mean, if he survives, yeah. Miranda's going to have her harpoon missile. She's going to be able to TLT quick draw. Oh, that's, that's true. That's great. And just strip down the ability. Now, you know you have Nim on the board, right, Justin? You can keep it. <laughs> yeah, maybe okay. he didn't want to. And ion and a Sabine on number three. If nice. this Nim somehow survives... Nice and like is still a great alive. Control there. Yeah, because yeah, that ion bomb kind of changes things if yeah. it survives. Because now that one boat's got to go there, and it can't. Re well, it can reload next turn. It's the only one that's got a shot on 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 Nim, right? See, Justin saw something that we didn't. That was this a is all all blasted turrets of boat. No, 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 no. This is at the back. Quick draw onto the oh, Miranda. Miranda. Oh, cop dice. That's a di that's two damage onto uh, Miranda. Oh mm. my god. Ryan's rear arc is not to be trifled with, as we saw against Ryan's his match dice against. Ryan's is not to be trifled with. <laughs> as we saw his match yeah. against Tim, it was it was intense. Mine too. And man. your match too. I have to Jesus. remember. Yeah, he... yeah. Every single harpoon roll four dice. It was it was incredible. Yeah. And then he gets he gets evade. In the, or no, last roll. It was Miranda against a gunboat. He had one hull left. Chats? I fire range one into gunboat. Got one hit. and He gets double evades. Oh sweet zero. I was living on the west coast for almost twelve years. Love and that's it. how I lost. Uh, that's how I lost the top four match. We love <laughs> a lot of love for BC up in here too. You couldn't yeah, slam we've out. been on the Sea to Sky podcast a couple of times. Highly recommend li listening to them. Yeah, shout out to Sea to Sky. Chat's also wondering about the bombs. We fly casual here in Toronto, so if he said Sabine, we don't know what's going on on the table. So um, he may have said that he was Sabining before removing the other bombs. So let's give the players the benefit of the doubt. And that, there's five dice. Oh, Come ouch. Yeah, I, that I is. Harpoon. 
But he does get lightweight frames. Oh. Did he just get three evades? Yeah, well, yeah. he's got... It's an obstructed shot. No, no, I mean, did he get three evade results? Yeah. Yes, yeah. he did. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> So, so that shields down on quick draw, but quick draw gets a revenge shot now. Okay, guys, if you want to roll this well, either be Ryan Ferguson or just paint symbols yeah, onto all sides of your dice. Quick draw's oh. revenge shot. Hey, That's he finally got a blank. One. Hey. Hey. Two. Hit, hit. Wow. Uh, uh, important thing to note here. Miranda uh, takes Miranda, one. Miranda did slip spend a shield to yep. uh, roll an additional dice. So yeah, he, yeah. she he takes didn't... one and she shields down as well. So Miranda has no shields, Travis. Maybe we need to start yelling, save me, Ryan. Save me, Ryan. Oh, and the and the Revenge of the Gunboats. Oh, here, here comes are. our harpoon missile. <laughs> it's not harpoon oh, missile. Oh, right. Just straight just up two straight hits. Up. No problem there. <laughs> Why does he even take Christ. target locks? I and love a it. very frustrated Holy dice crap. roll from yeah. Justin. Yo, should I just Jesus. trade all of my regional oh, dice? Oh, my Lord. Oh, wow. This is not going Justin's way. Winner reigns at fours. Yeah, I know. I'm trying. It's hard with four. I'll stop trying. I'll go for eight. No, no. It's good. You guys go. It's good. Holy okay, so sorry we got it. Sorry, chat. We went a little. We got a little buck wild there for a second. That was yeah. it's a bit too much excitement in the dice rolling for us. But let's try to be more objective and see what's going on. You know, on you're here. a nerd when you're getting super excited over uh, yeah. dice results. Here's believe it or not, we're here. Sorry, believe it or not, everybody talking right now is either married or has a long-term girlfriend. We're not what it's you true. think we are. It's true. <laughs> Despite <laughs> our amazing radio voices, we're not radio. Here's our Here we go. Harpoon into That's three name. and a four. Four. Last one was a direct hit on Miranda. Oh, a direct yeah, hit yeah, on Miranda. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, and Nimmin's down. No, uh, yeah. yeah. Yep. It's four damage through. Jeez. Just count him out. Count him out. Ooh. Jeez. This 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 game's over, guys. No I mean, way. You kidding uh, me? Mar Miranda's going over a rock. He's gonna she's gonna eat range ones from gunboats. I don't see how this game. I don't think hard two hits. Hard two, she could probably clear then slam for some safety. But guys, number four guys. has to reload still. Okay, we have to Range this. three obstructed shot from the gunboat on Miranda. Still manages a crit. Wow. Are you guys sure there are Spends both? the oh focus. Oh, my Lord. Miranda takes, takes one. Crits. Direct oh hit. Watch. Direct God. hit. Major explosion direct hit. Here it comes. Console it a, fire. Oh, okay. That's oh, no. Console fire. Only one of the worst. Uh, yeah, that's <laughs> for awful. For Miranda, yeah. Jeez, this is just... This is a cascading uh, series of unfortunateness for Justin. Um, which is has been it's probably tough. Wow. Tough to wow. swallow. Wow. No doubt. There's nothing you like more to see on on a ship like Miranda than the inability to slam because of console fire. Ryan rolled all hits that game. I mean that sorry, that round. It was literally He had a couple that? of blanks eight that he rolled eight. that he rolled into hits. Yeah. His game against him was exactly the same. Yeah, so let's just check Ryan's dice. But again, step back and look at his positioning again. Ryan but again, he never so engages without double tokens. Yes, that's absolutely true. Not a single time has he fired a harpoon without focus target lock. Well, the tokens well, are cleared on board now with I know. scanners. He can't it's hard, take. hard not to. <laughs> but the thing is, I've flown gunboats a couple of times. They go fast. If you can't judge range control, it's very easy to over overstretch yourself, and especially at PS2, and, and be out of opportunity to shoot a harpoon missile. I mean, so well, For all that matters, these could all be TIE fighters, and Miranda's still screwed. Fair. And they're not. They have harpoon missiles. What about so. T-65s? T-65s with flat assist astromechs. They're amazing now, right? I think Miranda would win that. <laughs> if there were three T-65s on the board, I think Miranda might win that. This is... Where do we think Miranda's going? She's in a really tough place. Hard to. Draw... Draken, basically, I feel the same way. Every single time I've flown a K-Wing, I'm managing a console fire. Yeah, reload. Oof, oof, I think oof. you're just going to see a reload. Oh, he's checking for long, long range, range scanners. Yeah, he's got yeah. it. Just he's just gonna. All of his ships can take damage, so he may as well just take target lock with everyone. Set up an attack for the Ab next turn. Absolutely. Attack true. with focus target lock with whatever ship can attack. This is what I thought would happen in your game. Yeah. Uh, I can't. I fared to live better. I mean, I, I came real close, but this is uh, this is something else. I mean, that gunboat's getting a shot. Miranda. We'll get one regen before they shoot, unless Quick Draw straight up kills her. Is there anything we think Justin could have done to have this game go a different way? I think he should have dragged the gunboats through those rocks and, and used Nim's ability more. I think I think coming straight down, like really exposed his sides to he he pretty much was in between Quick Draw and the two gunboats coming from the bottom. Oh, interesting. Going for the three forward, slamming into that gunboat. Yeah. Not actually slamming, but... Uh, Sitting on the rock, I think, potentially. No, no, I think that clears. clears that clears, yeah. That's going to clear. They should just roll for the rock right now, though. 
<laughs> just crit into a directive, call it a day. Edward A., how right. many 3X Neo Quick Draw lists were at originals, Devin? We didn't see actually one that many. One or two. One or two. There were I think Ryan and then uh, Don. There were a lot of... Um, Don had two with a scimitar with Cruz. Oh, that's right, uh, we yeah. saw a couple. We saw one version that had three, two rows with Deadeye. So yeah, so there were two sloop. quick draws with that's two news in the no, top 16. Oh, it's just a three bank. Yeah. And the, the, the lists with less... Gunboats lost right? to Nim Miranda. He already has Ark right here. I don't think he does. No, I don't think so either. Yeah, he took some focus. I mean, his his perspective is better than ours. I mm -hmm. imagine they do. So range three. I mean, if the if Quick Draw here won't do it. No, the rest Quick Draw doesn't have a shot. Quick Draw doesn't have a shot. He doesn't, eh? Oh, no. you have Fire Tower. Nope. Uh, so quick we've draw. got Miranda Mar Harpoon on Quick Draw. Miranda yeah. Harpoon. She does not have a she shield to spend, so four dice on... Three dice. She could regen by throwing one less die, but I think she's lo he's looking for the kill. Oh, Constant oh, Fire. Constant Fire goes off that first. No, okay. oh, Lord. And did we did we see a die for going over the rock? Yeah, yeah. There was did. also a blank. That was focus, yeah. All right, so Justin's being very aggressive here. He's got to. He's got to get he back in the game. He had a 100% chance of taking at least one damage, able to cut it out. Now he's deciding whether or not he wants to regen to survive. Or to throw four dice in and try to kill a quick draw. Darth Morris already rolled for console fire. Or they just did, rather. Yeah. Chat saying we had two other players with three news and quick draw. And then I'm thinking the more common list was quick draw with two named news or or two rows. Yeah, uh, Siri had quick draw with two named, one named new, one row. Yeah. Was it not uh, Major Vendor? I guess not. Right? No, no, he, he had, had Kasabi. Kasabi. And I then don't a think that was. VI, and I then, don't think Karsavi was a good choice on on just on Jeff's part. I like Vinger or the cheaper ones, personally. But hey, uh, Jeff made top sixteen with it, so good on him. Absolutely. <coughs> so yeah, he's going to elect to. Looks like he's not going to regen and just throw four dice. I mean, when you go all out, you go all out. Oh no! Too much paint. Reroll with the target lock. That's the thing about harpoon missiles. Crit. I mean. Two I'm dice, three evades. lightweight frame. He don't tell me that's two evades. He evaded, I think, two out of three of them. <laughs> he Hit. just took. Oh no, sorry, sorry. He only evaded one. Hit. Oh, great. Hit. I'm so confused. So he's dead. He's dead. He took it all. But there's an ev is that not an evade token down or is that a focus token? Uh, I think that's a blank. Oh, is it? Oh, it's yeah, the yeah, reflection. Yeah, yeah. Okay, reflection. okay. I thought I thought the same. Quick right? done, but <laughs> could could the gunboat here finish the job? And the gunboat will take a damage from the harpoon condition. Oh, uh, no, he, 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 was, he was out of range. Oh, okay. That's what we were checking. Has, that, has that gunboat uh, reloaded? Three? Uh, four. Four has never fired, I don't think. Four, oh. four, yeah, four, four hasn't four fired. Went it was floating off in a corner. I Is it obstructed? It does not look obstructed. How did Miranda it's, take all the damage? Yeah, I was going to say, no, four fired his uh, harpoons at Miranda last Miranda night. got chipped oh, by. there you yeah. go. He's not. He's just... Yeah. just yeah. Yeah. He, he Miranda got chipped by a range three on fire. And that's it. That's good game. Half an hour in, wow. Half an hour final match. That was a slugfest. Oh my god.